Right, so welcome back, everybody. We now found a marker for the show match. Uh, this crucial, crucial last, last of the round robin games this morning. The last of the group games. So Pete Roberts versus James Trot. Um, let's concentrate on the action. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Nigel Nichols has kindly stepped in as marker. So Pete Roberts to lead, middle jack. So once again, good morning, everybody. Apologies for earlier, just waiting for a marker. So, decent start for Peter, just slightly through. Morning, Mikey. Morning, Joan. Good reply from James. So, situation of this group. At the moment, James Trott needs a win against Pete Roberts. Pete Roberts, although he won't be playing for a draw, uh, a draw will suffice to get him through to the cup competition, the main competition. Obviously, most you know, two top quality players, both previous winners of these events. Another great ball from James, just the right pace. Just pushes Peter's ball through. And a nice shot. Pitch coming on the forehand. Just a little slight overdraw here. Let's see what he does with this. Very good effort. Pace was very good. Slightly unfortunate. Double kiss just takes the weight out of his bowl. James coming up to take a look. Hard, trying to protect this one shot, maybe trying to add to it, but also not giving Peter an opportunity to steal the end. James looking to bowl on the forehand. Nice wide draw. It's just drawing under the head, just protecting that shot bowl. It just lies the one, one shot at the moment. Peter now looking to see what he can do here. There's a shot on Peter's forehand, maybe to use his, his shortest wood to just take James's shot bowl out. Maybe move the jack back. All sorts of conurbations possible. Let's see what happens. Just playing a draw by the look of it. Certainly in the region. Decent effort. So one bowl to come. James Trot line one. Just look to draw a second bowl here. Nice release. Good green. All down to the pace now. No, just under the pace. So, one shot to James Trot. That's one end at the end of the first end. James and Peter discussing the, uh, the way the match playing. James leading off on the forehand. Yeah, good lead, perfect weight. Very good reply from Peter. Just draws the shot. Good morning, Mike Pridham. 
So anybody's got any questions or comments, please feel free to comment, ask any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Bring a second in. Looks very good. Good second wood for Peter. So holding two. James just looking to move Peter's shot on the backhand. Good effort here. He's slightly unlucky to catch his front ball. looking to drop one behind the jack here, the look of it, just put a touch more on his pace. Yeah, just protecting that buck bowl with James. James will be looking at where he can push this jack now to, to potentially pick up a two, possibly even a three, if he can drag that jack through on the forehand. Morning palms. And also, apart from any questions, please feel free to let me know where in the world you are watching this. People are always interested to see where we've got viewers from all over the world. Yesterday, certainly, you saw somebody from Canada um, and Italy, Germany. Uh, so, worldwide, and it's a great watch, I hope. All comments are will be treated respectfully. James shot draws shot there. Ball's just sitting down. He'll be hoping that doesn't roll around the other ball, which sometimes happens. Peter will just be looking at bringing this jack back a few inches. It's very close here. Really good effort. What's happening now? It looks like it's one to Peter. From here, yeah, James signaling the same. So, one shot to Peter Roberts. So the screen's timed out, but it will come back. Uh, the guys on the desk will control that screen, but it's now one shot all after two ends. Benny. So Pete Roberts to, to lead on this end. Jack three quarters again. Yeah, slightly through. 15 inches or so past the jack. James on the backhand. Yeah, good weight from James. Very good. goes on to the backhand. Yeah, just slightly through the weight again. Just looking to push that jack back to his first bowl then. James looks very much in the region again. Yeah, be pleased with that. Peter will probably play just a little bit of weight on this. Forehand, as, as you can see, is the obvious choice. Just running through this a bit. He's played quite a good weight on this. Yeah, he'd yeah, be disappointed with that result. Too tight on the line, under the head, taking out another bowl. So just leaving one of his bowls on the mat. James sticks to the backhand draw. Once again, looks very much in the region and is protecting that backward, which is very good. James currently line three. Peter reverting to the draw now, just to cut this down a bit. It's not far away. 
It's a very good effort. Will that sit down? James now looking. This is an opportunity to remove that bowl. Uh, that was Peter's final bowl. So James has some choices to make. Has an opportunity potentially. <laughs> Certainly taking a look at it. Made a decision just to play a backhand draw. It's okay. Yeah, very close here. Very, very close. Yeah, great ball from James. Very good draw for two. So after three ends, the score will tick over in a few seconds. Uh, James Trot leading by three shots to one after three ends. Right, so fourth end. James Trot to lead. Currently leading three shots to one after three ends. Good start from James. Perfect weight. Sticking with that three quarter jack. Good morning, PJ. Great response from Peter. So both finding this drawing weight very well now. Nigel Nichols marking that bowl. James Trott coming on the backhand, playing a little bit of weight on this. Very good effort here. So it gets a good toucher. He'll be pleased with the toucher. I'll just wait for that to sit down in the ditch. Change the angle slightly so you can see that. Pete Roberts looking to draw the jack again on the forehand. Yep, right on it again. Very good. Very, very consistent draw bowling. James, just a brief look at the angle. Yeah, James again playing a little bit of weight. Very close here. That's a great bowl from James Trott. Couldn't see much of that jack. Gets the jack pretty well full, which wasn't easy with the position of the ball. So now line two. Two touches in the ditch, and the jack is dead. Peter only, he has a toucher now, which he's looking, stepping out to play this toucher into the ditch. He's not far away. I'd be disappointed with that, so. Opportunity gone. James currently line two. Just look to draw somewhere near the line, but not too close. Doesn't want to give Peter any opportunities here. Not quite sure, Nigel. Is that ball still live? It's just so the ball you see at the front of the screen to the right of the jack. That's that's still potential for Peter. Could make contact with that. Whether he comes, he'll probably come and take a look at that. He could knock that across to move the jack. Would be an excellent shot, but uh, let's see what happens. James, not sure that's got there for three. No, Peter staying with the draw. Not quite. Not sure the situation here, but it's certainly two. Is that potentially three? So, yeah, they've agreed on three shots. Uh, so, once the scoreboard ticks over, James Trott will now go into a six shots to one lead after four ends.
James leading on the backhand. Yep, very good. Peter stepping out, looking like he's playing this with a little bit of run. Quite a bit of weight on this. Managed to find the gap. Ronnie Robin. A smile between James and Peter there. Wondering how he found a gap at that pace. Any little touch on either the bowl or the jack. So it makes a big difference to Peter. James just looking to draw this again. Changes to the forehand now. Yeah, he'd be pleased with that. Nice little touch. Just creates a strange angle on the jack now for Peter. Peter's nothing but a draw now. Yeah, just slightly through. He'd be pleased with the position now. Morning, Robbie. James looks to be very much in the region again. He'll want that to sit down. Yes. James likes his balls to be in a row rather than leaving a bigger target. He's just created a slightly wider target for Peter there on the forehand. Peter's back bowl that you can see, the blue bowl. It's ready and waiting. Peter staying with the draw. Good morning, Patrick. Absolutely nails the draw. Superb bowl from Peter Roberts. Nigel marks it. Gives James something to think about. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. James taking a long look at this. I'm just wondering how he can move Peter's bowl out. Quite tricky. He's looking at it. It looks like he's looking on the forehand. Yeah, just a little bit of running this. Just looking to move Peter's bowl away. He's close to contact. That's very unlucky. The bowls are just locked in, really. Yes, Andrew, they are talking. Uh, uh, we saw them in the local hostelry last night. Had a drink with them. They're all back to smiles and brotherly love. If you believe that, you will believe anything. But yeah, they're all fine. Peter looking for what would be an excellent draw here, and he's very, very close. Let's have a quick look at the situation. James takes one out. James signalled in to Peter that it's just the one shot. Yep, so that's agreed, one shot. So after five ends, it's now James Trot leading by six <laughs> shots to two. Position here, trying to get you a slightly better view. That's uh, Peter puts it quarter short, changes the length of the jack. Bowls uh, a good first bowl, front toucher. Very good. James playing weight, absolutely, as we would say, nails it. Let's try and get you a better view of that now. Very difficult now trying to get the players and the bowls in. I'll try and get you all of that. Nigel signal in that, that. Nigel just looking to see if that bowl's still live. Peter G <laughs> Yeah, Nigel's just signaling in that they might want to take a look at this bowl here. They're getting an umpire to check, so let's just show you what Nigel is signaling here. So that can be quite crucial, as you can see. Is that bowl clustered live or is it dead? So 
So from here, it looks like the bowl is still live. So just checking to see if this bowl is live or dead, make a difference. If the bowl's still live, uh, James could choose to play that bowl into the ditch properly to make it um, a bit closer to the jack. From here to me, that looks like it's still live. And he's fractional. Yeah, still live. So, quite a crucial measure, this. For those new bowlers out there, just looking at this measure and wondering what's going on. Still live. So, yeah, the umpire's called that bowl is still live. So that means James could choose now to play that bowl into the ditch, get it closer to the jack. So at the moment, it's possible for Peter to draw shot. So let's get back to the next bowl. James looking to remove Peter's bowl. It's very close. Yeah, very good. Oh, just dipped at the last... Good effort. Peter looking to draw another one. What Peter doesn't want to do here is draw another one too close to that first one, giving James a bigger target. He's put one in front of it. James still has an opportunity. Good morning, Ben. It's James trots a ball now. be a bit closer this time yeah he gets it this time so that's a great ball from James now lies two Peter no other shot than to draw to the line looks decent pace on this one this must be very close uh, just just finished a bit heavy for him James trot still lies two with one ball to come from James Morning, Babs. So this looks a decent pace from James again. Has he found that drawing weight? Very close. Yeah, very good from James. So picks up three shots. Very good end from James Trot. Almost faultless bowls. Uh, so after six ends, once the scoreboard ticks over, James Trot will take a nine shots to two advantage after six ends. So, just get in decent position here for you again. James takes it back to a three-quarter jack. Stay through his backhand. Morning, Pinky. Start from James. Just missed a toucher. Peter's shaping up to play weight. Yeah, he's running at this. Looks disappointed he's under it again. Quite a common phenomenon on these mats that um, when you play weight, even with weight, if you're tight on the line, they do still have some turn on them. Here's James just looking to move that jack back a bit. Yeah, he's half hidden it. I suspect Peter will now just go for a backhand draw. Yep, and does so. Looks to be very good pace here. Yeah, very good. James is shaping up to forehand to remove Peter's wood. Perhaps sit and stay, as we say. Yeah, very close here. Great ball from James. Very, very good. Very positive end already. Both players just changing their tactics very slightly. Another good draw from Peter. Superb weight. That's the first touch of the end. No, James just asking if there's any touches. He's not had a touch yet this end.
Is James very tight to the block there? What's he doing? I'd be a bit disappointed with that. Just got a bit tight. He's looking to move out Peter's shot. Would have put Peter under tremendous pressure there. Olaf, good morning. So Peter now looking to take out James's back ball. What's he done here, though? Yes, yeah, yeah, not sure. It's sat out, so that's one to Peter. A little bit unlucky. Good effort. So the scoreboard will tick over. So the score after after seven ends is nine shots to two in James Trot's favour. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So Peter goes very short this time, changing the jack length again. Just draws past middle. So a little bit through. James on his favoured backhand. Looking at this, yeah, very good. Nigel, Nigel. Good attempt from Peter. Just change the head slightly. James looking to add another. Just slightly short this time. Hmm, won't be over disappointed with that. Just protects the forehand slightly. Pushing Peter onto the backhand. Very good from Peter here. Yeah, that's a good toucher. And James will now try and return the favour. Just possibly moving that jack back a little bit. Yeah, it's slightly, slight, slightly tighter line. <laughs> yeah, so it gets a touch here. I'm slightly disappointed with that. But it's slightly tight, that's all. Morning, Nick. It's just fractions. There's, there's really very little in it. Half an inch wider and he would have been absolutely perfect. So, Peter, coming to have a look at this one. about the head what's he going to do now Peter has two back balls here will he choose to move it now just try and draw another one looks like he's just a backhand draw again well it's a little bit of pace on this that's very good looks like he's lying two now from here looks like two Marty good morning James coming to take a look so that's quite tricky for James now. How does he get shot out of this? He has no back bowls. Any direct contact with either of Pete's bowls will push the jack backwards and Pete has two shots waiting, two bowls waiting. James studying this one intently. Seeing if there's an angle he can create, looking where that jack's going. You can see him now looking at right back, see if he makes a full contact, where does a jack go? Will his bowl out to the, the furthest bowl you see on the left, to the edge of the mat, will that come into play? If he can get the jack back in the ditch? So that's what he's looking at. Yeah, so shaping up on the forehand, will be playing weight here. It needs to be decent weight, which it is. Let's take a look. Oh, that, that is just unlucky. Oh, Looks to be Peter's bowl, yep. So just looking to see if there's any more. Certainly one to Peter at the moment. Yep, 
So we've got an umpire. Gunnar Francis from Norway will measure this. This is a long measure, may need assistance. Watch this measure, see how this goes. Certainly one to Peter. Reducing the deficit slightly. The measure for second. Come on, Roger. Quite see the measure, but uh, quite a stretch there for Gunnar. This looks like it might possibly be two to Peter. Yep. Go to the next bowl, take a look at that one. So Gunnar signals that's the blue bowl, so that means two shots to Pete Roberts. So after eight ends, the score ticks over. James Trot still leads, but deficit reduced slightly. The, the score now is nine shots to five in favour of James Trot after eight ends. It goes quarter short, 25% to you Europeans out there. Uh, does a pretty good bowl just behind the jack. James Trot starting off on his forehand this time. Just under the line. Pace was very good. Just a little bit tight. Roberts Bobby Lignoids, much stronger bias than James's. James a little bit wider this time, looks to be much more in the region. Yes, yeah, wanted full contact on Peter's bowl. So Peter still lies one. Peter staying with the forehand. Yeah, draws in a good second. Well, that's actually probably shot wood, so holding two. James will stay with the forehand here. a bit disappointed with this he's found that narrow line again as I keep saying if you're slightly tight on here it, it shows you up the balls do cut across if you're a little bit tight so two balls to come this end Pick Roberts currently line two has he got there for three yep Pete Roberts line three. James took a look, came up his end to watch that bowl delivered. I suspect James will be playing a bit of weight into this head now. Yep, shaping up to play a little bit of pace. Looking to play the split, looks very close. Ugh, that is pretty unlucky. Let's go and see what the result of that is. Two to Pete Roberts, very unlucky for James there. So the score ticks over. Once the scoreboard ticks, it will be uh, nine shots to seven in favour of James Trot after nine M's. So Pete sticks with the quarter short jack. A quick down to bowl here. Perfect bowl, front toucher. Superb start. 
Don't forget, guys, feel free to drop me a comment. Let me know where in the world you're watching this from. If you're outside of Europe, lots of Europeans watching, but it's nice to know where you're all watching from. And if there's any questions for the SNPT or myself, we do our best to answer them. Yes, Jill, good morning. Yes, I know you'd like to be here. Enjoy the game. Possible we'll see James later. So, good reply from James Trott there. Pete Roberts looking to draw a second. It'll be a very good effort. It was a little bit unlucky, it just fell out rather than in. Hello from Norway. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Choo Choo. James playing a little bit of pace here. Well, that's unlucky. Just not quite going James Trott's way at the moment. It's very much in the area and... Good to see so many players from Norway watching. Good morning to you all. Pete Roberts takes a look at the head. Morning, Clint. Stockport is definitely its own area. Peter looking to draw another one. Just a little bit short on this one. It's possibly there for three, but I think it's only two at the moment. James takes a look. Playing the draw again. Morning, Andy. Is he there? No. Looks disappointed. Not quite pushed that one through. Good morning, Brian from North Devon. James comes down to this end to watch the outcome of Peter's last bowl of this end. Peter pushing it wide as he needs to with these, possibly not the result he was looking for. And what can James do here? So let's have a quick look while James is walking back. We see the position of the jack. I suspect James is now going to be looking on the backhand to make contact with that front blue bowl of Peters. He's definitely shaping up backhand, playing a bit of weight. Where is he in this? That's excellent result from James. Really good bowl. Saw the shot. It's got to be two, could be three, even four. Big turnaround there. Peter takes one out. Can't move. So James can move. That one out of the way doesn't count. So calling for the umpire. James asking for both of these next two. Um, and the ball, the blue ball that's leaning. Will need to be wedged to keep it in place. Morning, Andy from Omar. So, Ed Sawbridge coming to do this measure. Let's see what we can see. Back to make it a better view for you from the other side. So, Ed very carefully removing that bowl. That's two eight, isn't it? Yeah, so measuring for third now. Get poor old Ed on his knees. Ed Silbridge, not the young man he used to be. So these measures are critical. Moving forward in this game, it's a big end, big end from James Trot here. 
Yeah, so that's that's three shots to James Trot. A really good turnaround there. He was, he was down two, certainly, possibly three shots. And he's turned it around, so that's a six-shot swing, really, with that last bowl of James. So from potentially going behind for the in the match, he's now gone into a 12 shots to seven lead after 10 ends. So two ends to come. James goes back to a three-quarter jack and goes back to his backhand. Just a bit through this. Only just pulled up in time. Very often that overdraws a consequence of plain weight, which he did with his last bowl of the last end. Just needs to get that muscle memory back in the arms again. Great start from Peter on the backhand. Toucher. James going on his forehand. Looking to either sit Peter's bowl, just slightly short. As I just said, that plain weight can often just just lose your feel for a couple of couple of shots. It's a real skill to get straight back to the drawing length. Very good from Peter. He won't be happy with that actually. He's left a, a little bit of a wing bowl for James to use. James just pushes this a little bit wider. He's looking at this one. Where's this going to end? Looks like he's just drawn in for shot there. Let's take a quick look. With my old eyes, that looks like it is shot, still shot to Peter. Very tight. Looks like it's one shot to Peter at the minute. with a little bit of pace on this. I'm not sure if that's Peter thinks he's shot down. It looks like he's holding with the blue to me, the back blue. There's a 12, 12 seven down with two ends to come. So he needs to, he's looking for six shots over two ends. He's certainly pick a two up here. Need like a three or a four, of course, but certainly needs a two at least. James looking to just change that slightly. Yeah, a little bit unlucky again. Can't quite see from here, but we'll take a look in a minute. Peter now looking at his options. What does he do here? James taking a quick look. Just changing my view. <laughs> Peter playing a little bit of weight on the backhand. It's not far away here. What's he done? Oh, he's probably a little bit unlucky there. Certainly not like at least one to James. Yes, yeah, one shot to James, I think. Yeah, Peter's trying to play the split and so okay, so James takes an unassailable 13 shots to 10 lead after 10 ends. One end to come. So good result for James Trot. We will progress through to the knockout stages in the cup, the main competition. Nigel puts the jack down for the last time in this game. Very good game, top quality. Very tough shot Peter tried to play there. So James goes long and he's after the jack, trying to draw this jack into the ditch. Uh, not too bad, just half a jack. Peter, no choice now, draw to the line. <laughs> yep, Peter draws shot. So, 
James trying to blaze touch into the ditch. What will he do here? Nothing. Peter trying again. Probably just a little long now. No, that's very good. It's a line two. Inconsequential, really. James looking to play them off. Just play with a bit of freedom now. Very good bowl from James Trott. Takes Peter's two bowls off. Peter looking to draw another one to the line. Pace looks good again. Yeah, superb drawing to the line from Peter. James's last bowl of this match. It's just slightly high on this now. Yeah, quite get the contact. Yeah, some agree, Jane. Some great games on here. Standard is as high as ever. So, Peter's last bowl brings a conclusion to the end of this, the final game in the group stages. Uh, James Trot now will progress to the cup stage uh, and we'll update you on all the other scores later on. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all later.